Hi, I'm Amber Gilly, and I'm going to be showing you all about Act. It's a great software package that includes contact management as well as reporting and all kinds of neat features. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you straight to my Act um, program, and I've got a demo database here. And the idea of Act is that we're keeping all the information that we need in one centralized database. So that means that any emails that we send through Outlook can be recorded, um, as well as other programs. Um, we can centralize document storage, um, and basically it's all there and you can find it in your database through a various um, lookup capability that ACT comes with. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to locate a client that called in and his name is Wayne. I just need to go over to the lookup um, area and type in Wayne. And here we go. We've got a couple spelling errors, so we need to verify that our data is getting entered properly, and we've got some duplicates because they're really the same guy. But that's an example of how we can find Wayne. We can also see how many gyms we've got. Um, there's different ways that we can also look up if I would like to go and look up based on a company name. I can also do that. Oops. You do have to spell it properly. That's a catch. So there we go. I've looked up on company. I could also do a lookup on location if I wanted to find all of my clients in Brampton or all of my contacts in Brampton. I don't have any. How about Mississauga? This is telling me here that I've got 87. So there's all different ways of doing things. I'm going to use an example of um, something that actually happened the other day. A client called in and I saw on the call display the telephone number but I missed the call and he didn't leave a message. And I knew that I recognized it, I just didn't know whose it was. So I actually went and I did a lookup on the phone field. So I entered his telephone number in there. Uh, let's see. And I was able to determine who it was. Um, it wasn't really Bob McKenzie, this is just a silly database. Um, but the idea is. I then knew that he was calling me and he's a good customer and I didn't want his call to go unanswered and I was able to get back in touch with him immediately. Um, so that's a little bit of an idea about how ACT can work for mining through your data. Um, what happens here, now that I'm on this particular client's record, everything that I see at the top of the screen is sort of just really important information that's going to stay the same. Over on the bottom of the screen, I've got a list of all of the history items that have taken place in this contact's record. For example, if I scroll down from the beginning of time, um, he started out as a prospect in our database, and at this point in 2004, we delivered back bacon and stayed for a beer, of course, because it's the McKenzie Brothers. Um, so we've got a list of all of these different um, history items that have taken place with this client's file. I can also track all of the activities that I have scheduled to take place in the future and any notes that I have entered. So here's a note here, it says he's thinking of making his own beer, doubt it will happen though. Well that was in 2007, <laughs> I think they made a movie about that actually prior to that. I think he may be related to Jock McHaggis, the famous chef. We'll try to get a phone number. So we've got some cute little notes here. There's also an option of um, attaching a document to a client's file. So if I had a contract with him or a sales receipt or any other important information that I wanted to access quickly, I can attach it in here through the attach uh, add document um, area. I can also um, track any sales opportunities. So here I've actually got a sales opportunity um, which I'll go into a little bit more later. Any groups that Bob may belong to um, secondary contacts such as a receptionist, someone that we don't speak to as often. I got a photo of him here, I've got his birthday recorded. Um, also the, the most recent activities are tracked in here. Um, I'm going to skip over a few over here. Relationships is a good one, that's a new one in ACT. So he's related to Doug McKenzie who is his brother. So I can actually click on this link and it'll straight take me straight to Doug's contact record which is kind of cool. Uh, we've also got the web info um, section of the database, which links us up with driving directions, um, as well as you know social um, media, LinkedIn, Facebook, that sort of thing. 
And we also have that over here on the social updates tab. Um, I'm going to try, there we go, there's our web info. So if I wanted to get driving directions, it's actually opened it up right here already for me because I was on there previously. And it's taking me from my address to 4520 Hoser Street North, which I don't think it exists. <laughs> That's why it's kind of stuck, but it's a nice shortcut. Um, I can also, if I'd like, I can um, make a note of a red flag. Um, so, you know, don't get him started with the beer. You won't get rid of him. So he's a famous Canadian that's known for drinking beer. Uh, so these are some of the things that we can do within ACT. We can also go ahead and schedule an activity. So I could schedule a call, a meeting, a to-do, or any other type of custom activity. So maybe I want to just schedule um, a to-do for sometime next week. And I want to um, print out a contract for upcoming year. Now that I've done that, it appears in my activities tab and I'm going to remember to do it. Uh, we can also record, uh, we can check out the sales opportunities that we have and sales opportunities is actually a great module within ACT. I'm going to click on that now and I've got a list of all of the open opportunities that exist for all of my clients here. So now that I'm in this module, it's no longer just related to Bob and Doug McKenzie. Um, I've got a list of all of my opportunities, and I can actually uh, look at some really great reports on this type of information. Um, so if I were to look at the adjusted for probability, and I'm going to look at all of my dates here, and zoom in a little bit. So it's showing me all of my opportunities. You can see here we've got one with Fred Flintstone. And we're only in the needs assessment stage right now. We're still assessing. So there's a probability of 25% that we're actually going to get this deal. And as you see, and we scroll down, here's a, you know, an example. So we've got a 10% chance of a $1,250 deal. So it's weighing it out at 125 bucks. This is a really good thing for salespeople who have a lot of deals on the go. Um, and we can, we can forecast estimated closing date and we, we can work it through the pipeline as we go. It's really good. We can also um, group contacts within certain companies. So I only have a few companies here, but as we can see under Bedrock Construction, I've got three members, Fred Flintstone, Betty Rubble, and Barney Rubble. I don't know where Wilma went. Uh, maybe she's not in our database. We've got the McKenzie brothers. We've got the trailer park boys. And what happens is when they're grouped together, any activities for these contacts within this company are all going to appear in one place. So we don't have to scroll through each of their records. And that's kind of neat too. And if I want to pop over and see one of the contacts, I just click on it and it is hyperlinked. I can now view his specific contact in ACT. Um, another nice thing that we can do is we can send correspondence. So if I wanted to maybe do a lookup and find someone that's going to have a birthday within the next month. So I'm going to do a, a lookup on birth date and let's see within the next seven days. So I've got two people here. So I can automatically send an email I'm just going to locate my birthday email here. And it's automatically going to populate that information in there. And I'll be able to see it's got a nice little header. Dear Guy, from all of us at my company, we wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We hope you and Georgina, see it's automatically put his spouse's name in there, which is nice. We hope you and Georgina have an opportunity to get out and enjoy the occasion. And all of the rest of it, we've got our little social media icons. We can do this for you know as many contacts as we want and it will automatically send it out to these people. We can do it once a week, once a day, whatever. Keeps you in touch with your contacts, which is really, really nice. Um, it's kind of neat to, to be able to um, keep those documents in here. So I'm going to do a look up here and locate my employees. 
I'm going to go into Leonard Lyons and I'm going to go into the Documents tab, add a document, and I'm going to find sort of an employee contract here, employee arrangement. So now I've got Leonard's um, employee arrangement attached to his file in ACT and whenever I want to see it I can just double click it will take me to that contract. Really really handy for keeping documents all together in the same place. Uh, now another cool thing in ACT is the dashboard. I can see all of my information. I'm just going to go to the default dashboard here and what I'm looking at is what I've got on for today. So I do have a phone call that I need to make which will hyperlink, I can hyperlink through um, to that phone call and look at the details. I've got all of my, um, I can look at other um, or er, activities that I have going on, scheduled, and this is all of the dates. If I wanted to just see maybe today and future, it would change slightly. I've got my opportunities, so this is showing me how much money, or, um, how much money's worth of opportunities I have going on at the moment. And again, I can click on each one and hyperlink. So if I want to see how many are in the initial communication stage, I can click over there and it's showing me all of the opportunities that are there right now. Back to the dashboard, I've got a little meter down here, a lot of opportunities information in here because that's where the bread and butter comes from. Uh, also, another nice place to see data is on the calendar. So we go to the monthly calendar. I don't have much going on right now. I guess we'll go to, to today. And I can see that today I've got um, my activity planned. Once I've um, called Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys, I can clear the activity. So I call Bubbles and I say, hey Bubbles, don't forget you gotta update your eyewear subscri your subscription prescription, I would think. And once I click on OK, that activity doesn't need to be done anymore. And if I go over to Bubbles, I'm going to see in his history area that I completed the call. So it's really, really handy for, for keeping track of everything that really does happen. Um, great for reporting too. If I go over to my reports component over here, I've got a whole list of different reports that I'm able to do. Um, just a directory report, an email list. We can start looking at margins when we're inputting our products and our sales. History is a nice report if you're trying to keep track of, of different employees and how they're spending their time. It's really helpful to be able to see what's going on there. Uh, now this was just a brief overview of ACT and um, there's so much more to it. Uh, I'm Amber with Effective Contact Management and I guess I should probably uh, give you my contact info. It's amber at getyouractogether.net. Give us a call at 905-336-8988.